thank you again for being here with me I will try to present a nice case today for you um, I'm using again this Medikai platform uh, Medikai.io which is uh, something that I'm uh, using on a daily basis and I find it very useful as a um, radiologist so uh, this um, workspace is specially designed to be everything to be anonymized uh, in here everything that uh, I upload or import or, or receive it is uh, automatically anonymized so um, let's see this case uh, this is a space where I have DICOM data sets uh, of the MRI, the X-ray and the X-ray is saved in a JPEG file in documents ok, so uh, let's take a look at this JPEG image so anything uh, remarkable well first of all there is something here there is a fluid fluid level here and this is a bit radio transparent so I'm guessing uh, this is some um, fluid with, with some um, fat inside because fat should be uh, more radio transparent than different uh, other uh, fluids and it is here anti-gravitational because uh, fat is uh, not as dense as uh, blood or synovial fluid any other issues? Hmm. not really ok uh, let's see the MRI uh, we see the green bar which shows me the loading of the sequences and I can now use this uh, viewer in my usual way here okay so now that I have arranged uh, all my uh, series now we can see what we can see we can see that there is an avulsion of a bony, small bony fragment uh, of the tibial plateau which is still attached to uh, ACL you see the fracture line here and you see inflammation around the fracture side um, you can very well appreciate this fracture also on axial or maybe not so well on axial um, nevertheless let's try uh, T1 ok T1 shows poorly this small bone fragment uh, but what can we appreciate on the sagittal PD fat set you see we see this pattern of bony contusion um, lateral femoral condyle and posterior lateral tibial plateau which is a pivot shift uh, sign so we expect to see um, ACL there uh, it's actually an avulsion that's why we have here fluid and here some um, fat fat which comes from the bone from here uh, usually fat means fracture you can see on this gradient some fat maybe uh, the T1 will will uh, really show us that this is fat because it's hyper T1 uh, it saturates on fat set sequences and in gradient sequences is in isosignal iso with subcutaneous fat there is an uh, incidental loma uh, which is a non-ossifying fibroma of the posterior cortex 
of uh, the fibula let's see if we can see better on the axial the fluid fluid level yes not so well but you see there is a fine line between the fat which is brighter and the rest of the fluid which is not so bright um, should be some blood inside and maybe these are some strands of blood but otherwise uh, there is fat and fluid uh, how about the other structures there is a fine line inside the posterior horn of the meniscus consistent with grade 2 tear uh, external meniscus looks fine posterior cruciate ligament looks fine also and uh, collateral ligaments are all right so in the end there is evolution of uh, acl from the tibial plateau with um, lipo uh, and possibly hematrosis and what i wanted to show you because you don't see at least i don't see every day this is the aspect of lipohematrosis uh, on x-ray uh, there is the position of the fluid fluid level is different because on MRI the patient is in supine position and on x-ray it's in orthostatism it's standing you see the fluid here and now that we know about that uh, small evolution maybe this this is the fragment maybe not sure so uh, thank you